So it's really amazing to be here back in uh, Tokyo. I was at the first TEDx Tokyo. TEDx, about a year ago, we started this little, we launched this little experiment at TED called TEDx, where X equals independently organized events. And it basically gives anybody anywhere in the world the opportunity to host a TED-like event. Now, the idea for TEDx came from a number of different places. About four years ago, we put TED Talks online for free. About 250 million people have seen TED Talks to date, and this has really transformed the TED brand. Um, another thing that occurred, that more and more people are coming up to us and asking us if they could host an official TED conference in their city or their country. And the TED team is a very small team, and this idea is very hard to scale. And finally, we at TED really do believe that sometimes it's better to view TED Talks in a group situation where you can have a conversation around them rather than a solitary way in front of a computer. So it was through the evolution of all these ideas that this TEDx project emerged. Now, a year ago, there had been a couple of TEDx events. There had been TEDx USC, which launched the whole TEDx program, and a few smaller TEDx events. And really, TEDx to Tokyo 2009 was the first TEDx event, most definitely in Asia, um, and one of the, you know, the first big TEDx events that were held. And so what I wanted to do for you now is just paint a picture of sort of what has transpired in you know, just over a year. We've had 600 TEDx events to date. There have been over 100 TEDx events in Asia. Um, there are about another 500 plus events planned for this year. We've had about 40 youth events, and there have been about 100 events on university campuses. We've had events in 80 countries in 25 different languages. And these events have really um, ranged tremendously in sh size, shape, and format. We've had one event in a shanty town in Kibera where the organizer just put a sheet on the wall, projected some TED Talks, and invited some people from the local community. We've had a, couple, a series of events that have been hugely ambitious, like this event in Tokyo today. And then we've had events in little rural villages in southern India, where this particular one, the woman had to go on a tremendous personal journey to enable this event to happen, because the elders of the village felt really confronted by a conference, really challenged um, with the conference about ideas. And so the, it's, it's been a really interesting journey. And um, you know, people come and they say, well, what can we do after this? We've met these amazing people. We've had this amazing, inspiring day. And one of the things I can say to you is, you know, go out into your community and into underprivileged um, communities to schools and host your own little TEDx event. It doesn't have to be on the scale. You can just project some TED Talks and maybe or maybe not invite some speakers, but reach out into your community. And um, this has been an amazing journey, and I think we at TED all feel like it's been truly transformative, and it's been thanks to all of you, the TEDx Tokyo community, that has really helped us make it so. And so, in closing, I just really have to thank Patrick, Todd, and the whole TEDx Tokyo team, because they really jumped on board this idea long before it ever was an idea. And they've really be tr been tremendously supportive of me through this last year, and they continue to be so. So, thank you. And I'm.